So in the previous episode of Drupal 8 theming, we styled a header, added a background to it, added a logo to it. Uh, I show you how you can make your header with blocks. So in this episode, we are going to add a main navigation to our header so that the users that come to our site can navigate the site easily. So let's see how that is done. Okay, so to make our navigation, we would uh, first have to have some content to link that navigation to. So I'm going to go to my administration content and add some new content. So let's say we are building a page that is going to be dealing with movies, of course. So like in the previous episodes of these tutorials on watchandlearn.com, uh, we are very fond of movies. So I'm going to create a basic page called movies. So let's just give it the title of movies and save and publish. I'm not going to add any content right here. Uh, <clears throat> now we can go to content once again and add a new basic page that is going to be called about us okay save and publish this one and of course we are going to have a page called contact so let's add that page okay save and publish and if you go to our content right now we will see that we have three pages movies about us and contact so we want to link those three pages uh, in our main menu to do that we we'll go to structure menus and as you can see we have few menus right here so we have administration menu footer menu main navigation which is the one we will be using tools and user account menu you can also add your own menu and as you can see here by this message it says each menu has a corresponding block that is managed on the blocks layout page so if you create a new menu it will automatically create a block for you that you can use uh, on your uh, structure block layout page but right now we are going to focus on this main navigation uh, menu so let's edit it so if we go to edit we have that uh, we, s we can see that we have a home link right here okay we will leave that home link and add a new link one that is going to be called movies so movies and the link to our file so to make a link uh, you start typing the title of a piece of content to select it you can also enter an internal path such as node add or an external URL such as HTTP example.com or enter front to link to the front page so our link uh, is going to be to the page called movies so we just start try typing movies movies and as you can see Drupal automatically adds that link and this number one right here is the ID of the node that the Drupal is going to be using to call that page so this is node one okay uh, this is going to be enabled we don't need to add any description to it and it's going to be in the main navigation menu so just save this let's do do exactly the same steps for other pages so let's add a link and we can call it about us about us and just start typing about right here and you can see that we get this about us so this one has the ID of 2 so just save that and just add another one called contact so contact ok 
okay and the link contact so that one has the ID of 3 everything you create in Drupal is called a node so whatever type of content you make it's going to be <coughs> referenced by a node ID so about us page has a node ID of 1 if we go to that page uh, let's just do that right now so let's see about us if you uh, if we go to that page you can see that we have slash node 2 so this is the ID of the page everything in Drupal is called a node so that's our content okay let's just delete this actually we can go to structure menus and just see how our menu actually our main navigation looks right now so we have a few pages right here about us contact home and movies uh, I'm just going to reorder them a little bit so we're going to have a home and then we're going to have movies and about us and then a contact okay save this so this is our menu next thing we are going to do is going to display that menu in our header region to add this menu to our header region we just go to structure block layout and down here we have main navigation so if we wanna add it to, a, the, to the header region we just drag it right here under the side branding and save blocks okay and if we re if we refresh the page we can see our menu right here so we need to style it a little bit but if you look at the page right now and the uh, HTML output of it we can see that our menu is in this div data contextual ID block in the main menu and so on and all of this uh, so it's actually is in nav role navigation so what we want to do now actually is create a new region for our menu so that we can reference it better so I'm just going to go to uh, my endymion.info file and create a new region called main navigation okay let's call it like this main navigation okay and just call it uh, by human readable name by main navigation okay save it uh, go to the configuration of course and then we go to performance and clear the cache so once the cache is cleared we can go back to our site and as you can see we still have this menu right here but that's because we didn't add it to our new region so I'm just going to refresh this and right here we have main navigation so I'm just going to take main navigation block and put it into the main navigation region and save blocks and if we, if we refresh the page this should disappear right now because we didn't define our main navigation region uh, on the front page so to do that so we have this page header right here I'm just going to add a new region but I'm going to put it in the div called main navigation okay so let's just define a new region called page dot main navigation so we are using the name that we defined right here so main navigation I think that's right okay save it refresh the page 
and as you can see we now have this right here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to my says and going to go to header and I'm just going to do dot main navigation and then I'm going to give it so check out the SUSE documentation if you don't know what this means so I'm actually just making a column uh, of width red, let's say 5 so span 5 and last uh, so it's going to be aligned to the right and uh, okay main navigation let's just save it and see what it does actually I didn't uh, I didn't uh, turn on gulp watch right now so I'm just going to do that right now so it will compile my SAS files I'm just going to remove this and save it again turn on my live reload and refresh the page as you can see now home movies about us contact is moved uh, to the right and now I'm just going to do li and do float left so we got our navigation looking like this right now and then I'm going to do a display block color white so let me just on this right here uh, text decoration to be uh, uh, nothing so we don't want it underlined and if we check it right now we can see it like this and I'm just going to add some padding to this a tag not on the top but on the right and left sides so let's say 10 pixels okay so that it's a little bit they have a little bit space between each other and I'm going to add a margin to this main navigation div um, let's say margin top to be 10 pixels so it's a little bit aligned with this watch and learn logo maybe a little more so let's let's say 25 pixels uh, that seems about right and we can also add some hover effects to it so hover uh, text decoration underline so when we hover over it it will make an underline so this is the way we made our main navigation for the site and if we click on any of those links we would uh, be taken to the corresponding pages so for example if we click on movies we go to the movies page and if we click on about us we would go to an about us page of course they don't have any content in them so we just get the title but let's just click on those pages again as you can see we don't have a header right here so in the next episode I'm going to show you how you can take this header and include it on other page templates so our header right now is pretty much static as you can see and whenever we make a new template we, we have to copy all of this code to that template and we, if we do any changes to that template we have to do uh, do it on multiple files so in the next episode I'm just going to show you how you can include that header on other pages and whenever you make a change you just make a change on one file and it will um, propagate to all of the other pages and other templates so thank you guys for watching this episode if you liked it please like it if you like this channel or if you like the content of this channel please subscribe 
Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. I will keep you up to date with my latest videos and stuff I find on the internet. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.